Hello to everyone. If you've been following our little Hitting the Bricks series, you know it is a series of short videos showing historically and architecturally significant locations along Camp Bowie Boulevard in Fort Worth, Texas. Today is video number five and we're visiting Veterans Memorial Park, honoring the fallen among those who trained at Camp Bowie. To hear a short history of Camp Bowie, see our Hitting the Bricks video number three, part B. To find out more, copy and paste this URL. I'll put it in the comments also for easier copying and pasting. Veterans Memorial Park was established in 1923 and has been contributed to and maintained by many groups, both local and foreign. It's a beautiful little pocket park in Fort Worth. On the far west side of the park, we see memorials dedicated to Horace S. Carswell, Charles F. Pendleton, and Robert D. Law, each a recipient of the Medal of Honor, each having given his life in battle. Moving north, we find a memorial for the Texas National Guard's 36th Division soldiers who lost their lives in World War II. Continuing north, we find a memorial honoring George Herman O'Brien, Jr., a Marine in World War II and Korea who earned a Medal of Honor and yet survived his wartime experience. In the east end of the park, we find a memorial statue for the soldiers of World War I with the inscription of the poem, In Flanders Fields, by John McRae. To hear a lovely recording of this poem, visit the YouTube URL shown here. Please copy and paste from the comments below, where I will place it for easier copying and pasting. Throughout the park are other memorials and honors dedicated in different years since the founding of the park, including the big anchor in the middle of the park, which was built in 1933 and was used in World War II on several ships in the Atlantic Theater. The two stones on either side of the anchor commemorate the first battleship ever named for the city of Fort Worth, the USS Fort Worth a littoral combat ship commissioned in 2012 when the anchor and stones were also dedicated. The nearby battleship projectiles from World War II were donated in 1965. One of the other memorials is what I assume is the original monument placed in honor of the Texas National Guard 36th Division of World War I. Please take a minute to pause to read the stories on the monuments I've mentioned. If you are ever in the area, take a minute to visit this beautiful little park. Thank you for joining us again. Don't forget to follow us, like us, and share this video. See you next time.